Gonna be an Epcot day. Well, I'm gonna try this. What's up guys, Alex Khan here at Epcot. I'm here to look for some uh, Boba Fett merchandise at Hollywood Studios. And then for Epcot, I'm gonna go to Food and Wine. And we got some cool Boba Fett pins here. Look at Boba Fett. We got Fennec. Uh, kind of like this one. That one's cool. But this one has a whole body shot. But you also need Fennec too to get Boba Fett. Gonna get this one. I was looking at the other pins, but this was the most expensive one, so I equated that to quality. So I've never been to Creations. It's a new store. Well, new for me. It's been here for a few months, though, but I want to look inside here. It's really, uh, really modern looking. This is kind of neat. It's figment. They should make like a popcorn bucket out of them. Let it begin. Festival of the Arts. Okay, that's really sick. It's uh, freaking Coco statues. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm kicking up, kicking off my my Epcot festivities here at um, the Festival of the Arts with some Pate de Campaign, and I know I mispronounced that. And I typically don't eat breading anymore because I'm on a diet, but I'm gonna try this. There's like, I don't know what's on here. That's good, but I didn't try the beef yet. Oh shoot! Oh, so I know why I dropped my food. I wasn't eating on the proper Epcot table here. Dang, Peyton Panda has this. General Zoe's chicken shumai. That sounds really good, but it's 10 bucks though. So. I see a photo pass guy there. And now that I have the pirate pass and I'm spending $100 on photo pass, I'm, I'm gonna take advantage of my of all the pictures. So I'm gonna stop at every photo pass I see. My first thought of seeing that boat is Fortnite. <laughs> to a grill. But this is different. Usually they put the chicken inside the curry. Hey, time for some real talk, guys. But uh, I was I was walking by Spaceship Earth when some girl said, "Hey, I'm gonna go to to Epcot," and I was like, "This is Epcot." Hey, I hate to be that guy, but I did notice something. They did not put the little piece of the beef inside the, the curry sauce as they would have a few months ago. So I think they're trying to cut a few corners uh, by not including that beef inside the uh, curry sauce. Still good though, still really good. It's just, just missing that little piece of uh, something extra. I love the freaking hats here. This is my favorite one right here. That one's beautiful. By Japan, they have the uh, Goshiki. This one looks really good. Chicken Kushiyagi, breaded with fried chicken and yum yum sauce. Oh, then it says vegetables. But look down here. Masusaki in a traditional personalized wooden cup. That sounds awesome. It's a jasmine. You enjoying the festival? <laughs> Time for my favorite ride at, at Disney. When I was taking my picture with um, Mary Poppins, you know, uh, just say hi. The couple behind me was like mocking me. They, oh, look at that. He's taking a selfie with Mary Poppins. It's like, are we not all here because we're all Disney fans? It's like, I want to meet this character because I like Disney characters. I love seeing all the, um, you know, like the face characters and whatnot. But yeah, it was so, it was so, uh, so blatant that they were doing it right, right behind my back. And that was really annoying. There's a lot of like really judgy people out there. And I kind of go to Disney to escape, you know, all that, all that judgmentalism. Hey, there's people next to me. Hi. Hey, I just noticed uh, they actually have this. It, it's like something you put like behind tires. I haven't been to Disney in a few months. That's why I'm here today. Um, I actually renewed my pass recently. I got the pirate pass. I used to have platinum plus. Um, but I, I figure I'm not going to be going every day. So there's a few blockout dates on my on my pirate pass, but. With the amount of times that I go now, um, I think the Pirate Pass is still worth it. But, here's the kicker though. With the Pirate Pass, you have to purchase, you don't have to purchase, but if you want Photo Pass, you gotta spend an extra $100 to get the Photo Pass. When I had Platinum and Platinum Plus, uh, it, it came with it. So, I, I feel a little ripped off because I thought the Photo Pass was something that should be complimentary if you're, if you're a, high -tier, a higher tier pass holder. But now for every pass, you gotta pay. You gotta pay the extra hundred dollars for it. So I'm going to Hollywood Studios right there, you guys. Hollywood Studios. 
<laughs> Wait, look at the look at Boba Fett stuff they have. See that hoodie? That's the hoodie I want. That's so sweet. 15 minute wait for Star Tours. I wonder what the story with this Boba Fett is. He looks cool, but this guy looks like he's seven inches. The the rest of the Star Wars toys are about six inches, so this is what the standard Star Wars toys are, like about six inches. Bubba Fett is like way too big next to them. Oh, this is cool. Look at this Beauty and the Beast magic band. That's pretty nice looking. Oh, there's another one. Oh, here's a Bubba Fett magic band. That's kind of cool looking. If you're just joining us, we are on our way to Epcot. I had a great time at, uh, at Disney World. It's been a while since I've been to Disney. I think I haven't been here since November or October. It's been a while. Um, but it's so great being back. Even after, what, two or three months, I, I, I feel that nostalgia hitting me, you know, as I started walking through Epcot. I still have to walk through Epcot um, to get back to, the, to my car. Uh, I'm not going to film it, though, <laughs> unless I get more food, but I'm, I'm pretty tapped out on food today. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think of Disney, and let me know if you get to see the book of Boba Fett on, on Disney+. Plus. Um, I don't like it as much as Mandalorian, but I still love it. I still love the show. I just think it's not as good as Mandalorian.